Joe Day. Today I have a special guest. You already know who it is. And this video is in collaboration with Farfetch. And we basically picked out pieces for this video. This specific video right here. And I talked about Farfetch before, but they have so many brands that you can shop for. And they do really cool things such as including boutiques, Stadium goods. Stadium goods, sneakers. They have like a yeah. lot of sneakers. And also they have blogs where you can look through like streetwear, see what's trending and whatnot. Mm -hmm. So it's like a really cool website to shop for fashion. And uh, we basically had this allowance that they gave us mm -hmm. and we hacked it. Yeah. We, we hacked it. Was I smart with it? Probably not, but... We'll, we'll talk more about it <laughs> throughout this video. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we're basically going to film a... How would we word this? Abe has a very specific style, and that is streetwear. You... And just being ugly in general, but anyways. No, 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 no. <laughs> but he really loves his streetwear, his kicks, and I grew up seeing that and it's so funny because every time he goes out to hang out with his friends I'm always like didn't you wear that yesterday but it's just like always similar pieces yeah. that you style a little differently <laughs> um, so we're gonna yeah I got this idea because I wanted to style Abe's pieces and also style them with um, some things that we ordered on Farfetch yeah. um, I will say I love Farfetch because they ship so quickly like yeah. remember when I ordered it it came within like three days they like ship two, three days. Yeah, and so um, that's like one of the things I appreciate about Farfetch and also they handle all of the shipping and taxes at once so like remember how for like other websites we had to pay yeah. like taxes and import fees yeah. right when they arrived at our door so there's like no surprises so I personally really thought that was one of the like I guess uh, positive things about Farfetch and so yeah, let's get this video started. All right, look one So I guess we'll start with the first thing that was in my wish list uh -huh. when I was browsing on Farfetch And I've been like really into marine Serre. I've noticed like all the moon prints and I just really like this brand mm -hmm. And so when I saw the skirt, I just had to purchase it But for marine Serre, I will say they run small Oh, word? We're gonna talk about that later because there was a shirt that we ordered for you but it ended up becoming mine right, because yeah, yeah, it was yeah. too small for him. Uh, but for the like bottoms and pants, I think it is true to size. But for shirts, I usually just order a small or a medium instead of like, um, like a smaller size. So just wanted to show you guys. This is the first thing that I ordered on Farfetch and we're gonna style this with Abe's most worn tee. Come on now. You really think otherwise? It's the box logo right here. Mm -hmm. And he actually did a video where he, um, what was that word? It's really crusty. The New York Yankees logo is okay in the back, but I really gotta clean up this shirt. I'm gonna stir a little bit. And my soup smells. Dude, it smells really bad. I just had to touch it up again yeah. because if you guys know something about the New York logo, the New York box logo, it's very cracky. Mm. Like if you wash it once, it just cracks immediately. Mm -hmm. So I redid it with leather paint. If you guys are interested, the link is over here. It's on this side actually. Uh, over here. that was in my far-fetched cart is this white slip dress from Marine Sarah as well. You can't really tell, but when you look up close, you can see the moon prints. It's a subtle flex. Yeah, I like subtle flexes. I don't like the super logoed out, I know. <laughs> no, sometimes <laughs> it's great, but I do like to tone down my outfit so it's right. not too loud. Um, but I know for a fact that I'll style this a lot over like shirts, kind of like, 
this. This will look good, actually. Oh my gosh, yeah, I look fantastic. Yeah, you look great. Yeah. So now moving on to look three, AKA Anthony Davis three. Go Lakers. All day. All right, I kind of wanted to stay away from Marine Sarah because that was a lot. So we have this Ghani tee. Yeah, actually we picked this one out together. Yeah. I love Ghani. It's one of my favorite brands. And remember when I, what I wore to the Fenty Beauty event? Oh my gosh. That's a Ghani dress. Yeah. Rihanna, love her. <sighs> Anyway, uh, this would be the next thing that was in my Farfetch mm -hmm. card mm -hmm. and the quality for Ghani is just so like feel the shirt It's so nice. Yeah, it's not like super. Oh wow. It's really nice. What the heck? Oh, the reason why we got it is because it says have a nice day. Yeah, but in Korean have a Joan day. Aha ha, We have get it. Day. Yay Yeah, so we thought this was a very cute shirt. I normally don't wear pink. Yeah, we did this right mm -hmm. and I'm proud of you and to like top it off, I thought that denim is dope and all, right. but why not have overalls, but not just any overalls. The Supreme Joint Overalls. Now, cool story about this is Abe and I, we always send each other Supreme Leak News, yeah. Drops by J, yeah. and just like streetwear in general, we always like talk about it over yeah, the Yeah, like phone. before the drops. Yeah, so and like, he hey, sends this is it about to me drop. from his room. Yeah, <laughs> I don't want to move, it's so far. <laughs> yeah, so this, when he sent me the week, I don't even remember what week this was. But it was the season. Yeah, it was the yeah. season. I saw this and I was like, I have to get this. And this is actually a long overall, but obviously I can't fit into that. Super the big on her. Yeah, so we, cut it off and <laughs> turned it into a skirt. JR Smith. Yes. Let's go, Lakers. <laughs> He's just super excited because the NBA is kind of back, right? Yeah, but they need to stay safe, hopefully. And I also hope that LeBron James dominates everyone. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, but look five is another supreme piece. This was mm -hmm. also from this season. Yes. Yeah. Like week two, I think. This was week this two. This was week two, this yeah. This was week two. And then the thing is, he was in Sweden during so week I two. I get it. <laughs> so we actually ordered this from um, another website. Yeah. And I personally wanted this for myself, mm -hmm. but then Abe, it just looks so much better on Abe. Yeah. So... Of course it does. <laughs> but Abe wears this all the time yeah. with black shorts. Literally every single day I am wearing these. Yeah, at least. Once a week. No, you, yeah. Okay, once maybe a week. once every other week yeah. you wear this shirt mm -hmm. with black shorts. Yeah. And so that's how I'm gonna style this mm -hmm. with black shorts. Like to share clothes. We do. We it's do. Weird. It yeah. really 
it is. Whatever. Yeah, it, like for example, I'm wearing this PJ set and Abe is wearing the pants for it. And obviously I can't fit into the size small for Supreme because it's yeah. men's size. Like the pants. Right. Yeah. But the shirt is totally mine. Mm -hmm. so. But the small fits me perfectly. Yeah. So it's a it's a Women, give and take. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I think it's like a good thing because you get some nice fancy PJ shorts mm -hmm. and I get a cute top. And it's also give and take because she pays for everything. <laughs> Farfetch list again mm -hmm. is this. These Ooh. are silk Burberry shorts. Burr. <laughs> I've been really into silk shorts. Really? I've read like the black silk shorts oh, that yeah, yeah. Um, I've been wearing a lot. And then mm -hmm. when I saw this, I thought this is just like a very classic look. Mm -hmm. And I personally really like Burberry streetwear. Mm -hmm. I think they do a really good job at keeping it classy. Mm -hmm. And I like that vintage vibe as well. Right. So when I saw this, I was like, I have to get it. Yeah. So when I saw this, I was like, oh, this would look perfect with my shirt, the Marine Sarah shirt. However, this is not my shirt anymore because it's too small on me. Yes. Yeah, so this is a size medium, right? Yes. So guys, if you want Marine Sarah stuff, Please go a size up. Yeah. Marine Sir and there's like a few other brands that are kind of like that. Yeah. I would say Kenzo, um, Stone Island also runs Stone a bit Island. smaller. Yo, it's pretty small. Right. Yeah. So um, I guess a tip for Marine Sir tops is go a size up than your normal um, sizing online. Yes. But yeah, we're going to style it like this. a purchased with the credit that I gave him. Oh my gosh. It was a super sick jacket for the summer season. Yay! He got it for himself. I did. No, I got it for you. <laughs> we can but, wear it together. Yeah, I'm taking this. <laughs> but anyways, uh, it's just this really dope uh, jacket, Stone Island jacket. Mm -hmm. I feel like this colorway can fit basically everything, everything. you wear. Yeah. Because you wear a lot of black. Recently, a lot of colors though. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I feel like this will look good with... Um, you know like how I wear those like green cargo pants oh, yeah. all the freaking time? Yeah. So I was like, hey, my sister doesn't have green cargo pants, so why not use the Joan Day pants? Yeah. You know, link in the description box below. Right. But yeah. With just a simple black t-shirt. Yeah, because yeah. that is literally something mm -hmm. I wear every single day. Yeah, and he thought um, adding like another techie accessory, like yeah. this, the cold wall bag, would look good. So Absolutely. that's how Absolutely. we're gonna style this one. Dude, oh, I'm such a genius. habit of investing in pieces. Mm -hmm. um, Abe mostly does it for resale. Yeah. Yeah, he does that. Do you want to talk about that? Yeah, one? so I think I think what's interesting is like the clothes that we kind of buy, mm -hmm. you and I, it, it has like a value even if you wear it over mm -hmm. time. So mm -hmm. I guess the story that I could share a little bit mm -hmm. is, so you know, remember the Nike uh, NBA Supreme Air Force Ones mm -hmm. I had? Yeah, so I was going on a trip to Florida last year and mm -hmm. I needed like quick cash. Yeah. I really needed quick cash. And I was like, oh, I already wore these though. 
But I, I sold them immediately and I sold it for $300. Yeah, double the price of so, the original. Yeah, right. even though it was worn and someone mm -hmm. paid for it. So I was like, all right, cool. It's because like cash. the streetwear, they have that uh, value. Yeah. I personally don't think that my pieces have resale value. I think they just kind of fall in the vintage category. Mm -hmm. But I mean, I purchase things that I could wear a lot mm -hmm. so um yeah and also i always think about how like mom can also wear it and yeah. how you can wear it yeah so before making any purchase not like the marine <laughs> stuff. oh the white thing yeah, yeah, yeah. super nice but i can wear it all the time <laughs> but usually i do like to um think about how many times i can style it and then i usually go with a purchase yeah yeah like even for his supreme drops he's like um nuna what do you think of this and i'm like how many times how many different ways can you style it and then yeah. we go with that and then if you can name like seven different ways we mm -hmm. usually just go for the purchase but it's like it's like can you wear it mm -hmm. and then can i wear it <laughs> basically almost every single thing that we buy yeah kind of you could wear and i could wear yeah yeah, yeah. i think yeah. so too um yeah mostly uh, like majority of your stuff we could definitely mm -hmm. do that and every time his shirts shrink after um laundry it all comes to me <laughs> oh my gosh there's she has like a lot of my supreme graphic tees yeah. because no they don't shrink but i accidentally blow dried them once or mm. like put them in like the tumbler thing mm -hmm. and i was like oh my gosh like, like halfway in <laughs> I was like, oh, Nuna, all right, you want some new t-shirts? Okay. Sure. I know that a lot of you guys are thinking about, wait, wait, but Abe, what about the shoes for all of this? Yeah. My first pair of Jordans. The Air Jordan 1 Low All Whites. I purchased this very recently. Mm -hmm. No, it wasn't that recent. How many weeks was it? It's been like over like two months now. I haven't worn them yet because Ooh. it's just so precious. <laughs> I'm like such a fan of Jordan and yeah. right now like it's kind of monsoon season here in Korea mm -hmm. and I don't want them to get dirty mm -hmm. and so I've just been wearing my Air Force Ones but this is like very similar to my Nike Air Force One Sage Lows mm -hmm. and uh, I just really love this shoe mm -hmm. I kind of want to just get another pair mm -hmm. just so that I have them so one to rock, one to like just keep look on at. Ice. Do you know what wow. I mean? Yeah, and um, when I purchased this, I blocked it. Mm -hmm. And even though this is like a general release, yeah. GR, um, I just I'm just obsessed with it. And <laughs> I don't really care so much about like what's like the newest drop or like different right. colorways. Right. I'm a white sneaker kind of girl, uh -huh. so I just went ahead with this, and I always wear white sneakers. Yeah, so these will look perfect with every like, single outfit. look. Yeah, 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 yeah. So Abe decided to unanimously like go with this shoe for yeah. all of the looks that he created today. Mm -hmm. Good job. Thanks. Good I think my favorite outfit was probably the very first one. It was just like a classic like jean look with the box logo. Mm -hmm. So unbiasedly, I thought that was the coolest one. Yeah, that is like a very Abe Kim look. <laughs> the next Abe Kim look would probably be the green pants with the yeah, brush. Yeah, yeah. I always laugh when he does that. <laughs> That's um, me every day. Yeah. Uh, what was your favorite? I would have to say the Supreme denim overalls because i finally got to wear it yeah and i'm very proud of how it looks yeah so i think that one because i know for a fact that i'll be styling it in different ways during the summer yeah so yeah i think i like that one because um first off i don't own that much pink and mm -hmm. ghani one of my favorite brands and mm -hmm. it just looked really good together so yeah, yeah. it's versatile yeah i just want to say thank you to farfetch again for sponsoring the pieces we had a lot of fun shopping online my one thing i got yes and um, if it is your first time shopping on farfetch you can use my code for 10 percent off so feel free to use my code Tell us what your favorite one was because I will be reading every single one of them. Yeah, he actually reads my comments more than I do. Yep, I have no life. <laughs> All right, I hope you guys enjoyed watching our collaboration. You know. We should film videos for your channel too. Like this is like a nice setup. I kind of want to do this more often. I want to come back. Yeah, gonna you're going to come back. back? Yeah. Bring Hype Talk back. I should. Yeah.
Thank you guys for, I guess, just chilling with us today because we just didn't want to go out because it's really hot now. Yeah. Like right after the rain, it's just... <laughs> Boom! Heat! Yeah, it's not fun. But mm -mm. very thankful to film at home today. Alright, um, I'll see you guys in the next Joan Day episode. Bye! Bye!